Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as Ontario, aka, uh, our industrial goods is good to go there, don't I? Perfect. Um, Ontario, aka the Dominion of Canada. So in the last episode, we, perf we well, placed uh, troops on the Manitoba border, and we are in the process now of moving things up. So uh, in between the last episode and this one, I actually moved up some of my fighters and uh, built another military uh, air force base right here to get things going a little bit. There should be another fighter. There it is. I actually need a little there. I also uh, deployed two more leopard tanks from our reserve, or from, uh, I guess you can say from our reserve. Uh, three and six, perfect. Uh, you can use another tank, and you are on my flank, so I'm going to put you there. But yeah, so I built another Air Force base and a supply depot, obviously. Uh, we're going to let this kind of tick over a little bit. been basically sitting and making trades off screen uh, for the last little bit. Um, basically just making money, just selling a lot of our spare goods and stuff like that for the in the meantime, just so we can slowly get things going. Um, one thing I did realize is a bit of a, a, a hole in our plan is, um, where is it? We're not really building many of these, to be honest with you. Oh, Winnipeg is offering me, cons wants to buy from me consumer goods. No, thank you. Because uh, I'm going to own you in a minute. Uh, Moldova wants to buy consumer goods. Okay. So what I'm going to do real quick is I just want to look to see how Manitoba is doing for good production. Uh, so military goods, they have a lot, but they're not producing any. Uh, industrial goods, they're producing a butt ton, but aren't using it. Uh, consumer goods, they're pretty even. Power, they're pretty good on that. Uranium, they're not producing any. Metal, they're really in the hole for metal. Um, I think we're not in the best position for metal as well, but we are making a bit of a thing. You know what? I'm going to build... Some ore mines. I'm thinking about around Sudbury, but I want to do it now in an area that's good. Um, we're producing 5,900 a day. I want to do an area that's already been kind of tapped, so I don't have to worry about building the center part. But you know what? Max out production there. About six of them. Uh, six of them are how much? So 60. Uh, six and two is 12. So another basically, basically like building seven. I need 70. Oh, yeah, I got way more than I need. Okay, so in 60, 75 days, we should have a whole bunch of metal there. Um, by that point, we'll have gone to war with Manitoba for sure. So, catch 22, we only have 25 units. So we're going to have to kind of make, make do. There's six. We can probably put one more fighter up there. So we're going to have to make what's due. So with that mine, here we go. So we are going to war with Manitoba. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order everybody to entrench. Declared. Wait to see if anyone else gets involved in this war. Now, we're going to lose some territory up here, probably. Like, around here-ish. But I'm not too worried. Uh, first thing I want to do... Is launch you and tell you... Hey, do me a favor. I want you to go to Air Patrol. To there. Uh, next, you're going on air patrol. So 
The, most, the majority of aircraft are going towards the capital for now. And towards where that hydro is. Um, we don't have an actual military base that I know of. Like for us, we've got base Borden and we have Kingston. We actually have base Borden. The base Borden is utilized for building troops. Kind of like how Montreal has uh, Laval here, or Borleo, sorry. We also should have, yeah, we up there, Valcartier. So everyone goes through basic. Um, they have Gage Town. Shearwater. You've got a couple of military bases, especially you got Cold Lake Air Force Base. Uh, do you not have Co CFP Cold Lake up here? CFP Cold Lake is not on the map there. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Wayne Knight. Oh, Sheffield, sorry. Where's Wayne Knight? Wayne Knight should be down here. Interesting. So not all the Canadian Forces bases are here. Comox. There's Comox. Right, so yeah, so no, it's like Meaford is in, in Ontario. Okay. So we're going to order our aircraft to fly in for now. Just going to get us a good idea of what's where. So right now they have a howitzer in, uh, in Winnipeg. All right, we're going to move up. I want everyone to go the same speed. Oh, there we go. They got more, more guys going now. I'm gonna order all our aircraft to hit these guys. Our, our, our flags are so similar. <laughs> All aircraft negate orders. Uh, we're going to up our speed uh, fast here. Actually, it'll go very fast. Mainly because we got a lot of slow, slow moving units. We're gonna order all of them to hit the capital real quick. I'm gonna pause and to see what's at the capital. So they've got Eric's launchers, a lot of four groups of anti tank, a howitzer, and a heavy supply truck. To be honest, they actually don't have much in order of... Anti-infantry stuff, so we could theoretically push our infantry units up and leave our tanks on the outskirts of the city. Which is what I would prefer to do... Oh, sorry. Wow, my voice is kind of going a little bit there. Sorry about that, which is what I'd prefer to do anyways. We're going to order these guys up to about here. I tell them not to worry about uh, going at the same speed. 
It's gonna tell them just to just to book it forward. Kind of cut off the north there a little bit. These guys are going to continue moving in. Artillery starting to land. And so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my infantry up. Not gonna move my tanks up though. Let's make it a normal over here real quick. I'm going to go repair. Our aircraft are going to come in again. So, a lot of it's the Carl G's and the Toes, Tows, depending on how you want to put it, are going to cause us a bit of problem here. Pull out another Kodiak. One of the problems having a lot of uh, APCs I'm going to move our tanks up. Once our tanks are in position, I'm just going to rock the city. those final Eryx launchers are, are out, we are good to go. Let's withdraw a little bit from the city for now. We're taking a little, little heavier than I want to losses. Let our artillery rain down on them a little bit. It's that Eryx launcher. Come on guys, move back, move back, move back. There we go.
wait. Minute, that's uh, you. That's someone else. Their American assistance is showing up. So, their ally did not declare war on me, but has sent them help. Wait, how is my military? Wow! Okay, that was not expected. are going to import a lot of military goods. These guys are all going to go for repair. So I can probably shift click, right? No, it's control click. Yeah. You guys are all going to go for repair. You're going to going to go for repair. And so are you. In the meantime, in reserve, two more leopard tanks that are going to be coming up. So we just lost a Hornet. Uh, aircraft, cancel. These guys are going to stay here to protect our side here. What are you doing? You guys are... I'm repaired, all right? Was that an M60? Yeah. Bomb unit. You're going after the AA gun. You, a bomber unit. You're going after the AA gun. You. Bomber unit. Go after that AA gun. This our artillery is
I don't know what our what some of our stuff's gonna do. You wanna buy consumer goods? Sure. Boom boom. Military goods we are laughing. I don't like the fact that, that toad howitzer is like repairing itself as we speak. Here's our two more leopard tanks. I mean, I'm definitely causing Manitoba to have some issues with their supply and things like that. That's going to be a definite thing. And nice try. Very sophisticated tanks. What? Sorry, I just said I lost a unit, but I don't know where I lost the unit. You guys are almost halfway done. Oh, perfect. All ground troops come back. Our supplies moving in pretty good now. All these guys to repair back there. Meantime, nothing in reserve, but we're still building more tanks, which is no big deal. Got a whole bunch of tanks will be done in a couple days. In the meantime, you guys are all going to move down this way. Here it's Launcher. No aircraft. Oh no. Okay, right, good. Wanna use my infantry to kind of cut this city off a little bit. Gonna move our way to Brandon. So theoretically, this may sound a little crazy, but if I could take the majority of Winnipeg, or sorry, the majority of Manitoba, then Winnipeg will have no recourse other than to probably surrender. How are our aircraft? Oh, we actually got an AWAC built, which is good. One of our Hornets is almost good to go. I'm just going to deploy it. Let's turn our supply off and send it over there. Can't see them really having a lot of uh, garrison troops here. There we go.
Oh, battles on theater overlay. Right, theater control. Repair everything, please. There we go. Our artillery's landing rounds left, right, and center. Our troops here are going to continue pushing west along the border. Uh, the main reason for that is if I bring up our things here, there's oil down here, uh, there's metal in that in the north, so I'm actually going to bring up the light infantry, move them up even further north. And just let them keep landing the rounds on top of them over there. I said I should be good. Right, let's order these guys just to go back one, just to capture this area, and then we're gonna order them forward again. Down a little bit, perfect, and then head back this way. Uh, you can actually stay there because you got supply problems. So do you. It's gonna take a little while for our supply to head west, so that's no big deal. In the meantime, these guys are going to head back down south. Our radar is going to head over here. It'll keep a good lock on those guys. Time. We're going to order our main force here in the south just to advance still. I think their supply is pretty relatively good. Yeah, it's 88%. I'm going to order them to go... Let's go up one more. I, I can expect some sort of resistance in Brandon. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that actually was not expected. I then am going to push all the way to the border with... Uh, with Saskatchewan. Maybe they'll have some carriers and troops here. Nope, no garrison troops in the oil fields either. That's uh, a little shocking. Build military. You're getting a supply depot the second I can build one. We put all these guys, Brandon. Brandon, Manitoba. You're going to go repair. Uh, land units, nothing yet. Air units, we have five in reserve, but all we have is an AWAC. Available to us. Seven units in total. And warships aren't going to do crap at this point. Then you should be able to do something there. You should be able to give some supply. Oh, it's all the way in the south. Mozambique and Kenya signed a peace deal or an alliance. Yeah, I know we lost some there. Okay. Or him to escort. Okay, I want you now to escort that guy. Thank you. The supply will slowly filter out. Uh, now you're at 82%. I want you to escort him, please. He's going to move up. Now oh, we're going to go to fast at this point.
Duke at least needs to go re get more more uh, more stuff. Artillery is still raining down on the capital. It's hundred percent. Escorts. Kodiak, please. I know we're losing territory due to our lack of supply. I'm not worried at this point. Here we go. Lab three is now moving to the capital. Or to Brandon. Perfect. Hercules, uh, clear your orders and return to base, please. Perfect. I want all you guys to move over here for now. We are probably going to lose some territory to Saskatchewan and probably some to none of it. Uh, let's see, they have some anti. Interesting. Just looking here. Put you up there. And I did a nice hard push from two different directions. So, what we're going to do in the next episode, we're going to make an attack. We're going to make an attack from this direction, from the northeast, from the northwest, and the west. And we're basically going to hit the city. Um, actually, if I were to surround the city altogether. The United Nations is, a, uh, is asking to buy ore from us. Or offering to sell us ore. No, we're good. No, we're good. So what we're going to do is we're going to order a large number of units. And we're going to encircle Winnipeg here. Right, so Winnipeg is offering us peace for right now. If I'm not mistaken, that just basically means ceasefire. Um, let's see. Uh, or by that. Ooh, they're offering us. They're actually offering to pay us off at this point. That tells me that we're probably going to uh, actually get them. We have the capital surrounded, so it's just a matter of time at this point. So what I'm going to do is in the next in the next episode. We're going to uh, we're going to attack the capital. See you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.